Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so what a day it has been, and I would really not wish anybody to go through a stressful day like what has been today. Thank thankfully, of course, there is nothing which compares to some of the awful, horrific things people are going through. But it was just really one of those really long, drawn out, stressful days with problem after problem. You know, those real sort of midweek days, even though I know it's Thursday, what happens at work, even though you love your job, we all get them, don't we, where it just seems to keep spiralling and spiralling into this sort of hay bell of never actually getting to the end of a certain issue. And then it really starts to take over how you're feeling and affecting your well-being. So it says a lot more about you if you own a mistake than if you gloss over it. Now, that came to my mind, bearing in mind I've had quite a philo philosophical week where I've had a lot of these things come to my mind. I've talked to you about them on my channel, but I love to do this. I love to help. I love to kind of inspire, motivate if I can through my own happenings and in mistakes and sort of trip ups, you could say, just generally in life. So, for example, I work in a very stressful finance role. Um, love my job. I say stressful because it's been stressful for the past couple of weeks. I've I've recently been promoted and I've got a lot of different projects and things which I manage to look after. Love my role. I can't go into it in too much detail because of the nature of the work I do. However, today I made a mistake, which happens to the best of us. And anybody who says that they've never, never ever made a mistake in their life, they're fibbing. Because, of course, as we discussed in my last clip, that making a mistake actually grows us. It grows so many skills, it grows our mental health, it grows our well-being in the end of how we deal with mistakes. It also grows our skill sets, our experience, and it grows us as people. So then we can walk on past that and be much more of a stronger individual um, and all of those great, great things. So today I made a mistake, right? So it wasn't a huge mistake, but what it actually was was where I didn't ask a simple question. And I went off onto a different tangent and basically created uh, a forecast, which I shouldn't have done <laughs> and um, or didn't need to do as opposed to that. And then I took the time to then deliver this to somebody um, of senior authority. OK, and I didn't make myself look a fool, but there was a, as soon as I started seeing it, I could see a glaring mistake of what I'd done. And sometimes when I get really quite stressed or quite um, wrapped up or absorbed in something and work, it's almost like that doors close for me and things which normally would come readily quite quickly and I would know and I'd be able to read off quite quickly. The doors when I'm stressed always seem to shut and it's almost just like I've got tunnel vision looking down at something and I can only report this thing. It doesn't happen often, but sometimes it does and that's certainly happened today. As I was delivering this to this senior person, um, I could see it. And I just wanted to literally just cover my face and just turn around and start again. But of course, we can't do that in life, can we? I could have, however, have not actually have even acknowledged it. OK, I could have actually said that the whole piece of work which I'd done, the unnecessary piece of work I'd done through a mistake was my plan. I could have just glossed over it and went past it. And the mistake, I could have actually glossed over that as well. But within my role and personally, my ethics and my integrity is absolutely everything. And I'm a very conscientious person. If there is something which isn't quite right or it bothers me, it basically keeps me up all night. Okay, until I get it resolved. So that's just the thing. And that's what I wanted to talk to you and take the time to really resonate and really show this on my channel. So basically, who are you? So actually, when you break this down and you look at it, what do you do? Do you make a mistake and do you own up to it? Or do you gloss over it sometimes? Now, let's be fair. Sometimes, not intentionally, it can just happen. And this resonates just in life in general. And I tell you what, this is the area I work. And I wrote some notes down, actually, when I was in a meeting to talk to you about in in my uh, meeting I was in earlier. And I wrote down here, it says more about you, Bradley. And that was the line I actually wrote to myself. And actually, when you think about that and you translate that over into life in general, how many times do we walk past and we walk past somebody less fortunate than ourselves in the street? Perhaps they're sat on the side of the street. 
or a pavement or a sidewalk, whatever, then perhaps you just walk past. Perhaps you don't even say good morning or hello. Perhaps you could just ask. You could ask a question. You could ask anything. You could even just say hello. You could even smile. How often do we walk past a situation, not knowingly, that actually it says more about us? And I know it's not a mistake. Sadly, it's a mistake sometimes on humanity. But how often do we walk into a room and you see perhaps someone's stressed out or they're going through something and they look a bit different? How often do you get what you're looking for in that room and then walk straight out again? It says more about us as people. And I know sometimes we haven't always got the headspace and sometimes we haven't always got the time. And sometimes, sadly, when we're going through things ourselves, we sadly just have not got that emotional strength and space in our thought process to actually do this, what we're talking about. But sadly, it says more about us, doesn't it? When we can just gloss past something or if we can stop, resolve it, or if it's a mistake, own it. And then in that moment in time, you change, don't you? The timeline of what happens after. So number one, if you walk past somebody in the street and they're less fortunate than yourself, you smile and you say good morning. You've acknowledged that that person is a human being regardless of the difficulties they're going through. Every storm passes. That person will get through what they're going through. But for us in that moment of time, we could have made it so much more better and so much more positive by acknowledging that person as an individual, just by simply saying hello and good morning. Even better, if you can spread a little bit of generosity when you, in, and I, mean, I don't mean this just in people who are less fortunate, I mean this in charity work, I mean this in uh, volunteering your time. I've done it before and it is so rewarding. Um, and I've done that for, um, I don't know if I can mention the name actually on the channel, but I've done that for, uh, I can't remember the name of how I can describe it without saying the name. Um, so a cancer support um, hospice group. I've done a lot of uh, uh, event sport. Um, and then following that as well, uh, like an education program for children uh, overseas in less fortunate countries. So, and that was really, really rewarding. I haven't done it for a little while. That was in my previous role. And, um, and that was great. But it's just that you acknowledge something. It's like, for example, go back to the scenario we said about if you walk into a room and you see someone's quite down and they're not themselves, but yet you haven't necessarily got the time, perhaps you've got a meeting to get to, or perhaps it's a friend, but you think I've just got so much going on, I just can't deal with that right now. Think of it, if you took just a couple of seconds, okay, so 60 seconds, just to say, hi, how are you? Don't look yourself, are you okay? They could very quickly just turn around and say, yeah, I'm fine. But you could have made their day and just lifted their spirits a bit that you've actually realised that they are there. You've acknowledged that actually there's a person there. How often in life do we get so wrapped up and absorbed in what we're all going through? And actually you sit there and you almost look as though that you're just looking in through life, through a window. So for some time, sometimes just to say, hi, how are you? It brings you out from that and it thinks, actually, do you know what? I'm here right now. This is life. We're dealing with this right now. I am a person. I'm valued. And there's only one of me. Let's go. So what I'm trying to say is, let's go back to my bag while I'm right here. In my meeting, it says more about you, Bradley. So it says more about you. Okay. Now I've put mistake here because, of course, I made the mistake earlier. But it says more about you if you acknowledge. And do you know what? Sometimes, yes, it's a mistake. But mistakes grow us. Mistakes, they push us on. They evolve us. They, they enhance our skills. They enhance our experience. They make us better people. So it says more about you to acknowledge, let's say, your pathway, your journey. Or perhaps you have walked past somebody. Perhaps you may have said the wrong thing or you've not intentionally, but you chose the wrong way of how to say it. It says more about you to acknowledge our pathway, our journey, the steps. And it's so, so important where you get to where you are to look behind you. OK, and that is like a little bit of an innuendo, but um, innuendo, sorry. Um, but wherever you're getting, don't forget the path you came from. Because nine times out of ten, someone's going to be walking that same path. And it's important to reflect and to acknowledge, actually, like I put here in my pad, it says more about you. So whether it's a mistake at work and maybe you can't rectify it, maybe it's made you feel like you've absolutely ruined things. Don't worry about it, my friend. You'll get through it. When you think of it in the grand scheme of things, as long as you're doing your best and you've acknowledged it, you've not glossed over it, you've owned it, you've took ownership of it, you're rectifying it. That's all you can do. And well done for that. So when you think of it, whether it's work, whether it's life, whether it's personal, whether it's family, whether it's relationship, whether it's financial, monetary, whatever, could be a whole host of things. 
It says more about you when you acknowledge the things that go wrong in our life. Don't gloss over it. I hope that helps. And I hope that may have helped one or two people, hopefully a few people. OK, so I really enjoyed this. And thank you very much for sharing it. It's honestly been such a rotten day. Um, but I always think when I say that, do you know what? I feel awful for saying that because there will be somebody who's gone through today and even potentially they won't even see tomorrow or they've lost a loved one or they're going through something horrific and they're sat at somebody's bedside they love and they're wandering hour by hour. And then here's me moaning about work. So that really lifts me out of when I've had a dark, difficult day as well. And that's not to say that what you're going through isn't valid, because it certainly is. But sometimes just when we open our eyes and we look all around us and just see how simply blessed we are with what we are dealing with right now. And if we've got to complain, yeah, OK, that's what we do. I know. But we are. Do you know what I mean? We That's important. That's valid because it's valid to us. But sometimes it makes you feel a little bit better if you take a walk. And you go out in the fresh air and you think to yourself, do you know what? With all what's going on in this world, life is good and I can get to go tomorrow and I can go again tomorrow and I can I can perhaps sort out something what's stressing me out. I can perhaps sort out something what's worrying me. Because at the end of the day, as a lot of people have said to me in my working career, we live, no, we work to live, not live to work. Okay. And on that note, God bless. Take great care. Thank you very much for letting me share this with you. And until next time, I will be seeing you real soon. Bye for now.